Today I want to share with you about prison code words. You know, a long time ago here on After Prison Show, I did a video about prison slang. I actually probably did a couple of videos like that, but today we're going to do the 2024 version of that video. I ran across a post recently where people were listing all sorts of different prison slang. And some of these sayings and code words I've never heard of. So we're going to react to those a little bit today. And I'm also going to share my take on prison code words as well. Some of the things that, you know, I know of aren't on this particular list. So I hope that this is a video you guys enjoy. If it is, please leave a like and a comment on it. But without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we die? I've been working out. Pretty proud of myself. I'm on day number six. First time in over three years. Joe's trying to get back. And uh, it feels good. Vuh! Head first up into this video. So like I said, I had ran across a post recently where people were listing all sorts of different prison slang. But it was interesting because prior to me running across that post, I was actually thinking of doing this video because of an interview that I recently did with James. James is living in Cambodia now, a guy that served 15 years in prison, a guy that was assaulted in the worst possible way while in prison, and a guy that also swings both ways. Hey, nothing wrong with that. To each their own. But it was thinking about James and the fact that he swings both ways, and don't ask me why I was thinking. Oh, God. Anyways, for whatever reason... I was reminded of a prison code word from way back yonder, back in the day when Joe had to walk five miles uphill in in the hail in a hurricane to get to and from prison. Things were a lot different back during the time when I was serving time. Uh, But I was reminded of a prison code word, space. That's right. And for those of you who are not familiar with that terminology right there, space refers to... I'm actually trying to think of the best way to explain this, right? Like, if you're in in jail or prison and you're sleeping with dudes, uh, that that you're receiving is referred to as space. For whatever reason, uh, because it's maybe uh, see that is out of this world. I'm not exactly sure why it's referred to as that. But if anybody ever offers you any space, see, I can't even imagine how much bleeping out I'm having to do with this particular word. Uh, But if anybody ever offers you any of that while you're locked up, just like the candy bar on the pillow, don't accept the offer. It might sound tempting, but trust me, it's nothing like what you've got in mind. And actually, I guess it's kind of out of this world. That was so corny. Sorry about that. But yeah, I was reminded of that one particular code word. And then no sooner than I was reminded of that, I see this post pop up on the internet talking about prison slang. The new age, 2024 edition of that. So let's go ahead and see what people are talking about with these prison code words. Here's one that I've heard for the longest time, but you couldn't even ask me what this means because I would have no idea, but I've definitely heard of it. J-cat. If you asked me to use that in a sentence, I, I would fail. If, if, I was, if I was tested, you ain't never served no time before, Joe. You don't even know what a J-cat is. I do. Not, actually. It's not a term that I feel like is used very often in the state of Virginia, and if it is, I ain't never heard it. But let's see what they say about it here. They say J-Cat is someone in jail who's in the psych ward. Yeah, that does sound familiar. Hey, look at that J-Cat over there, boy, with his little penis and balls bouncing off the shower floor. One of the craziest things that I ever saw during the time that I served while serving time. Pretty sure I screwed that up trying to say that. Yeah, that dude was certainly a J-cat, for sure. I remember I was in the jail, and this dude, I don't know if he was really crazy or if he was just trying to play crazy, uh, but he certainly seemed crazy to me, a young guy. 
He walked around with a towel around his shoulders all day long, whispering into that towel and laughing. <laughs> like he just heard the funniest joke ever. <laughs> I ain't want no parts of this dude. Dude was bad shit crazy. And if it wasn't crazy enough watching this dude talking to this towel all day long, just walking laps around the, the cell block. He got up into the shower. Okay, you got a partition. So you can see the top part of a person. You can see their feet and their, their ankles. But in this particular case, we could see this whole guy because he was down on the ground in the shower with the water running, butt ball naked, penis and balls bouncing off the shower floor. Nothing but sharks and minnows and athletes foot up in that money dude was doing push-ups butt ball naked up in the shower if that wasn't a j cat i don't know I, I i don't know what is someone said i've heard the term bugs for the type of people you were talking about this was in florida j cat this person said that this was in la county roaches they are people who hoard state shit and try to bum off of everyone I've never heard the term roaches before. Man, look at that roach over there. He is state struck. That's what we would say in Virginia. You state struck. If you're sitting here trying to hoard all them Lisa bars of soap or that Bob Barker shit, you got 14 pair of shower shoes, the state issued kind, not the kind you could buy off a commissary neither. You, you state struck. But here they're saying that that is referred to wherever they're at as roaches. That's new to me. You know, if you're watching this, if anybody is, you know, comment down below any terms that you know that are prison code words that are being used today, or if you've heard of any of these that we're sharing in this video. Have you ever heard of space before, or J-Cat, or roaches? Somebody said on Rikers Island, the term is a 730 or an M-O. I'm thinking that is in relation to the, the crazy type of a prisoner right there. A 730? I ain't never heard that M-O. Sounds like motive to me, but no, I've never heard that one neither. Wobbleheads. <laughs> I've heard of bobbleheads. Uh, yes, men. Man, you a little bobblehead, man. You just, uh, you a yes man. Going along with anything that anybody's talking about. But wobbleheads, uh, I'm guessing they're talking about crazy prisoners. This is in Missouri. Loose screws. I uh, never heard that neither. I ain't heard none of these loose screws. Hey, man, look at them loose screws over there. That just sounds a little cornball-esque to me. This person says a J-cat is someone that switches up on you. They are not solid. Okay, so now we're hearing that a J-cat is something totally different from a, a crazy prisoner. I guess, obviously, J-Cat has a few different meanings depending upon what state that you're in. In California, in the streets, a J-Cat is referred to a crackhead or a tweaker. And the California Department of Corrections as well, they're saying that. Riding in a car. Now, I've certainly heard that. They definitely talk about riding in the car in Virginia. Hey, yo, what car are you in? Riding in a car, I don't even need to, you know, see what they're talking about in relation to that. If you hear that term while serving time, you know, that just means that you're clicked up. Uh, you, it could be in relation to a, a particular gang that you're riding with. That's the car that you're in. You're in the blood car, the Sue Whoop, the two soup car, Sue Whoop. Dudes used to make fun of the Bloods at the last prison that I was at, Indian Creek. You know, the Bloods would say Sue Whoop. And these guys would be in there saying, two suits. I can't remember if that caused any static, but I'm, I'm guessing that it didn't because if it did, I probably would have remembered that. But yeah, riding in a car could refer to a particular set, an organization, a gang that you're with, or maybe, hey, you just like the space. And that's the particular car that you're riding in if you get my drift. Running around with them dudes on the rec yard who are wearing them cut off jeans as the, as the little booty shorts. You ever been locked up anywhere and seen a grown man out on the wreck yard with some booty shorts on. That shit is weird to me. But in prison, it's a completely normal type of a thing that happens. You ever get caught staring at that too? You just like, gosh, my way in the, 
I can see that man's entire crack. Right? Joe, what you looking at, man? You you locked in. I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, Riding in a car, being affiliated with a gang or a sect in there, yes. Riding in a car can mean several different things. For example, you can ride in a workout car. That's very true. Work out with the same group of people every day or like you said, just being in a certain gang and so on. Dump truck. What the, what, what are we talking about a dump truck? When I hear that term, I'm thinking about a broad work, a female, excuse me, it's 2024. You can't use that term anymore. Broad, broad, that's offensive. Forgive me, dump truck. I would, I would think that that term just means a, a, a chick with a fat old booty. But I'm wrong. Here they're saying dump truck refers to the lawyer who only brought you trash? What? She was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, though. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm thinking dump truck rever referring to the, the hind parts of a female or or maybe you know a dude if that's your if that's your if that's your thing yo look at stick man right there stick man got the dump truck he got the donk up in here donk i've heard that term a time or two damn look at the donk on that dude whoa that's a man right there you talking about she was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal though that's that's corny they must be doing that shit in nebraska prison some way forgive me i know nothing about nebraska prisons it just sounds I don't know. Here's an interesting one right here. Jo Jost. I might be pronouncing this wrong. Jost or Jost means a bunch of things, but is slang for doing time. Jost. Okay. A five-year Jost. Or it can be Josting on someone or clowning on a person so that you pass your time by fucking with them. Many a fight have been fought due to jousting. Uh, they said that this is in Louisiana and Mississippi as far as I know. One time, oh yeah, there's a lot of different code words for one time. If you're saying one time, you're definitely about to get ran down on. The guards, they know all about the one time. One time, Mahondo, which I believe is Spanish for police. Maybe it's not. But that was a term that was used in prison while I was serving time. And the most famous, infamous term that I coined on the internet, floor's wet. Hey, yo, floor's wet. Floor's wet. Woo! I mean, you got to do anything to get the attention of dudes. And, you know, one time, floor's wet. You, you got to have some really good code words. One time is cornball AF old ain't nobody got time for the one time hey yo one time boy hey they coming they come you yell one time they coming for you floors wet was an infamous one and the sad thing is is i put that out there all over the internet and i'm pretty sure that when the guards saw my video talking about the floors wet they was like son of a bitch this whole time we just thought that meant they was mopping the floor I might have exposed that particular code word. You guys know any other terms for when the guards come around? Like what, what guys are yelling? Comment those and let me know, please. Flying a kite was new to me. New to who? Flying a kite? You ain't ever heard that term before? Whoever this person was that commented this, flying a kite is, is old school. Hey, yo, you got that kite for me? Did you fly that kite? What, you got a, a messenger pigeon up in here? Flying a kite is a code word that just means passing a note or sending a letter. Uh, but this person posed some really interesting information about flying a kite. They said that's basically writing up a communications chit to let the guards know you've got something you'd like to tell them about something or about someone. An intent to snitch, I guess you could say. At least that's what it was when I was in prison in Missouri many years ago. That is interesting to me. Flying a kite could refer to you snitching. So you better make sure you're in the right state saying the right code word uh, because in Virginia, it might not mean that. Whereas in Missouri, yeah, man, hey, boy, I just flew that kite. What you mean you just flew that kite? You flew a kite. You flew it. You telling me you flew a kite. Yeah, man, you know. Ain't it crazy how from state to state, these prison code words could mean something totally different. Something as innocent as flying a kite could be not so innocent 
somewhere else. This person says, kite is a letter or getting word to another inmate. Pocket holding means being someone's bitch or being subservient to them. Yeah, I mean, if you watched the show Prison Break, you remember when T-Bag had the young boy, I can't remember his name, uh, holding his pocket. I have never been anywhere where I've seen somebody holding on to the pocket of somebody else. If you've seen it in real life, and I ain't just talking about on the TV show Prison Break, comment down below and let me know where you were when you've seen that. But we would laugh and joke about that all the time. Yeah, look, hey, look at dude right there. Look at that little young whippersnapper right there. That little young buck holding the pocket of Sancho right there. You don't even got to literally be holding the pocket for them to say that that's what you're doing. Uh, here's one that I've never heard of. Slider is someone who has checked off all the solid units and is hiding out in the last general population unit available and will have to go to PC if he screws it up one more time. Boy, you a slider, meaning you've only got one more chance on one more general population yard or cell block or housing unit. I ain't, I ain't never heard that before. A heat score or heat bag, never heard of this, is someone who has no chill and always attracts the wrong attention. Boy, you a heat score. Little heat bag. I've heard of tea bag. Selling tickets. Now this one, they definitely talk about in Virginia. Selling wolf tickets. Snatching ass. Writing checks with your mouth that your ass can't cash. Yeah, selling tickets. Uh, they say here, nothing but trouble. Yeah, that's a general way to say selling tickets, lying, snatching ass, all bark and no bite, another way to refer to selling tickets. Uh, we're going to wrap it up with two final ones, and both of these I've never heard of before at all. Uh, the first one is a deuce five. This is a Cali prison code word. The lowest of the low, straight garbage inmates, green light on site. Okay. Okay. So green light on site definitely does not mean, you know, go or pass go or anything. That that means you're getting smashed. Green light on site, you getting beat up uh, as soon as they see you. If you're a deuce five in the Cali system, that certainly sounds like something you don't want to be. And you, you just, you know, scum of the earth. Uh, could be because of your charges. Could be because you're a snitch, it's seeming like. Uh, they're saying deuce five is the PC 25 gang. And this person says, so diddlers. <laughs> Crazy how that uh, that diddy term has turned to what it has. All right, final one here, a Glock Dookie. I I've never heard of this in the state of Virginia. We refer to it as a stink bomb, uh, a, a chemical warfare weapon. Uh, but basically, a Glock Dookie is filling a bottle with piss and fecal matter to fecal matter someone down. Yeah, this is a weapon, weaponized human waste. You know, prisoners would often fill up milk cartons with piss and dookie to throw it on the guards. You know, maybe you take it to a fight. Can you imagine going to fight somebody, feeling like, you know, you got the upper hand, you know you about to win this fight. Yes, for once, I got me one, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get me some respect off of this. Yeah, man, I'm about to get, hey, I'm about to get my rank right here. I'm about to get my boom. And stick man just hits you with the Glock dookie. You done after that. You got the doo-doo all up in your eyeballs. You can't see. That shit is burning. All you smelling is the worst. It, it smells like you just stuck your head in a porta potty. Yeah, you done. You blinded. I've never seen a prisoner get hit with the Glock dookie before. Usually I've seen it, and I've never even seen a prisoner throw it on the guards. I've heard about it. But um, if you've got any experience with a Glock Dookie or the Stink Bomb, as it's referred to in Virginia, comment down below and let us all know. Folks, I just wanted to do a little updated version on some prison terms and code words being used throughout the country in different states. And it's interesting, like I had mentioned, how some code words can mean something in one place and totally opposite in another. I hope this was a video you guys enjoyed. If it was, please leave a like and a comment on this, letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace.